If you are new to sales, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Hey there, my name is Rob Spence, the managing director of a lovely company called Paragon Sales Solutions. And if you're watching this video, the chances are you are new to sales and you need some help, support and advice on how to become the best salesperson you can be. And in this video, look, we're gonna share with you some great tips and advice that I, I think I wish I would have known when I first got into sales and I'm hoping that you can take the skills and, and knowledge from this video and have a successful career. But before we do go on, it's very important. First of all, I say thank you. I love the fact that you're watching this video. But secondly, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below, hit a like. Your support means an awful lot to us. And in doing so, we can then support you better because every single week we release a brand new video giving you lots of hints, tips and advice on sales, marketing and business growth. So put simply, you're not going to want to miss it. Now, if you are new to the world of sales, if you've just become a salesperson for the first time or just getting back into sales, look, congratulations, well done. What a foolish mistake you've made. I'm joking, I'm joking. What a great decision you have made. Working in sales, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It can be hard work. It can contain lots of long hours, stress. It can be very emotional at times but it can also be really rewarding. Yes, there's a monetary reward, of course there is, there's a good salary, normally a commission, car, that kind of thing. But there's also, and this is a good one for me, the satisfaction of helping your customers make better decisions. And that's exactly what a salesperson can do. And there's no greater feeling than, than if you, especially if you're competitive, getting that sale over the line. So if you are new to sales, what are the kind of top things that, that you should bear in mind? Well. First things first, always remember that the relationship is more important than the sale. I always say a bad salesperson will close a sale, but also close a relationship alongside with, with it. What you want to do is open the relationship, which is only gonna close the sale further down the line. If you can make a sale, you'll make a commission. But if you make a friend, you're gonna make a living. And that's something that I've lived by for so, so long. So understand the importance of relationships. Sometimes even it's better to walk away from the sale than it is to, to continuously try and close sales and, and burn out relationships. The next thing is, is don't forget that as a salesperson, you've got a toolbox full, full of great sales um, tools that are gonna help you to make the sale. Don't become over-reliant on one thing. Don't become over-reliant on LinkedIn. Don't become over-reliant on networking. Don't become over-reliant on the telephone. Mix them all up. You've got a toolkit there ready to support you. And the more of these toolkits that you can be upon, these tools that you can get used to and become really good at, the better your job will be. Make sure that you get to know your company's sales process. And if they don't have a sales process in place, make sure you create a good sales process. That sales process will be a step-by-step -step guide on how you take your prospect from you know, point one of contact to qualification, to presentation, to objection handling, and so on and so forth. Make sure you know it, make sure you understand it. If you don't have one in place, us here as a company can provide you with a sales process. Head on over to paragonsalesolutions.co.uk for more help and support with your sales. And I think the final one that I'm going to share with you today, there's a lot more I could do, but the final one today is to make sure you be damn entertaining. There's nothing more boring than a boring salesperson that's boring, that I don't want to talk to, that, that doesn't provide a good presentation. Make sure that your whole presentation skills as a whole is fun, engaging, enticing, enjoyable. A for your prospects, they've got to put up with it, they've got to listen to it. If it's just, hello, my name is Tom and today I want to sell you some cheese because our cheese is amazing. Oh, it's boring, like no one's going to listen to it. But also for your own sanity, if you've got to deliver this presentation, this pitch time and time again, you've got to have some damn fun with it, right? And, and that backs up into presentations. If you are going to be delivering presentations or demos, whether it be virtually or in person, once again, make them in, yes, in exciting and entertaining, but make them different to anyone else on the market. If you're looking at, you know, let's say you're pitching to me and I'm looking at five different presentations, I'm going to look for things that stand out, use humor, you know, really invest your time in making PowerPoint presentations if you're going to do that. 
make it entertaining, make it exciting. It's gonna make your day so much better. It's gonna make your prospects day so much better. There's so much we can share with you as to what to look out for and what, you know, what to think about when you're becoming, um, getting into sales. What I'll always say is hit subscribe, you'll get a new video every single week. Head on over to our website, paragonsellsolutions.co.uk, where you will see as well um, loads of online sales training courses which are only going to help you do better also. But look, really appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for watching. And until next week, all the best.